Part of getting my bike ready for Gills Gap is to check the brakes to make sure that I have good brake pads, which I've done. And I have plenty of good brake pads there. So while I was doing this task, I thought I'd take a second to show real quick how the EX500 brake mod is put together using Ben's bracket. One thing that you might have to do is take a little bit of metal off in this area and in this area right here the uh, H2 brake rotor possibly depending on how you tighten down the bracket possibly will hit. So once you get your brake installed you spin your wheel if, you, if, it's, if it's hitting you'll hear it just take it off grind down a little bit until uh, until it's not hitting anymore. Okay these are the parts that you're gonna you require to put the brake together this is Ben's bracket. Each one of these holes is a through hole. They're not threaded. On the, on the actual EX500 Ninja brake, um, I'm not sure, I think it's this hole right here you have, to, you have to tap out, but the holes that are required tapping would be this one, this one, this one, and then the bracket just goes on just like that. And then you need two bolts this size. The length of these bolts is very important. Uh, you have to check for your clearance between the end of the bolt and the brake rotor itself. Um, you possibly might have to shave a little bit off. But these are just like about 20 thousandths of an inch clearance. And these bolts go in the bottom two, bottom two holes. Just like this. Always using anti-seize when you put the bolts in. Always use lock washers, flat washers. You just snug them down. These bolts are your stock H2 bolts for holding the calipers. The only additional piece that you need is an extra flat washer and a nut and you'll see why you need that in a second. Once the caliper is installed then you install the stock H2 bolt and it goes the, through the through hole and into the tapped out Hole. Then you put the top bolt in. You don't put the lock washer on this side, just the flat washer. And you go through the through hole, then the other flat washer, then the lock washer, and then the nut. And just get them snug down. And then Tighten down the, bot the bottom two first. Just get them snug. Then tighten down the lower one. And then using a wrench on the other side. Tighten that one down. Then you can torque them to spec. Uh, like I said before, the, um, the clearances between the rotor and the two supports for the brake shoes is very close. It's usually this lower one that'll make contact. So, when I'm tightening up these last two bolts, I always kind of kind of put a little bit of pressure on the moving the, the bottom up like that and then tighten these down and that'll usually get the clearance. But if worse comes to worse, you can just go ahead and just take a little bit of metal off with a, with a grinder and you should be good to go.